I'm gonna go back out the way I didn't come in because there are like 15 entrances to this place. Uh, there are wells everywhere. Um, also, that gate up there, all the way back at the shrine, is not actually a. Uh, it's nothing. Like it, it leads down there as like a way to tantalize you, but it's not. There's nothing in it, which is odd. I'm mainly just breaking this. Yeah, I'm, I'm breaking this to discover it because I think discovering it is part of the quest progression. I don't think I need to drop down every single one, but I knew, do need to discover them all. At least that's my guess. Oh, hi, dragon. Can I actually hold on? Can I get a scale from you, sir, 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 sir? You are a very, very large dragon. Uh, wing. And let's not have my really good bow. Let's have this one. Go! I missed. How did I miss essentially a stationary target? Please hit him. Hit him, please. Got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, no. Did it go down into the depths? It did, didn't it? And that was my use. That was my use. Yep. I lost it. Whoa! Updraft. That's so cool. The dragons are a sweet concept. Let's be honest here. I'm gonna be honest. Honesty is what I am. Or honest is what I am. The dragons are really cool. I'm not typically one for, like, the Chinese dragon. I think at time, at best... At best, they look mystical. At worst, they look incredibly lame. Uh, in Skyward Sword, they kind of walk that line for me. They are cool in Skyward Sword because there is... There is story behind them. But each of their design, it doesn't really, like, appeal to me. I'm certain if it was my culture, I would feel this sense of reverence towards them. Just simply looking at them with their, like, wispy beards and, like, catfish mustaches and stuff. But... I don't feel that uh, in in games, and so the, that dragon design has never really stuck out to me as being awesome. But these dragons are cool. I like the antlers. Uh, I'm kind of a sucker for antlers. I think there is a a certain mysticism that can be um, experienced from having these like antlered creatures, which is why I I mean I don't. I don't know this, but I have gotten enough spoilers online to see Zelda with the Satori antlers, so I would assume that that's going to happen at some point in the game. Um, and I, I think it's... Uh, I don't need those weapons. Also, wasn't one of the... Like, the brothers? No, that was that was further east, I think. Uh, the, like, Hinox brothers or whatever. Jokes on this guy. Does he not know I can go supersonic speeds? Hi, hello, that is you. You are a big man, and I would not like to tangle with you. And they left me alone? Okay, sure, sure. I won't look that gift horse in the mouth. Its breath probably stinks. You know what I think they should have done with these shrines, or these uh, Korok Seeds specifically? I think that they should have had objects with set recall pads. Because all of these particular Korok Seeds are ones that we knocked the, the boulder down the hill into the hole in Breath of the Wild. And so it would have been super sweet if those boulders were still down there, and all we had to do was recall them back to where they started in... Uh, in Breath of the Wild, because that's, I mean, that's what the, the quest is. That would have been really cool for certain areas to have preset or pre-baked recall pads. I don't know why they never did that, at least not yet, but they should have done it here if it exists elsewhere. You know, flying is a little bit of, cr of a crutch, especially when I'm actually actively trying to find Korok seeds. I love how I've gone from, I'm gonna mark them on the map and then continue moving, to... You know what? I think I'm 
of the point with my commentary that I know how to pause a topic and then return to it. It really just goes to show the difference between me in Breath of the Wild and me now, because I have all the experience of Dungeons and Dragons where I know how to shelve topics. And also some of my, my work with UPS. Uh, where are you going? And I know how to return to them without really missing much of a beat. Uh, and this way is... It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be able to, to do this. Granted, it makes me editing really annoying because what I should probably be doing uh, is what I I mentioned, what I did in Breath of the Wild where I'm marking them moving on just because I, I can do that off screen. I, I don't need to record that. If anything, me recording that is like damaging um, because it means I have to sit down with the intent of recording. Oh my word, Link with the intent of recording to get this done, but um, frequently I do kind of plink around and grab Korok seeds as a warm-up before a recording session. Also, I don't know why I went so hard on the, the P there, the plosive, the warm-up. <laughs> Our first legitimate shrine of the session. And I'm not going to worry too much about uh, canvassing every single inch of this area of this uh of this map because at some point we are going to go down to the into the depths and i'm going to start using that that's not how i want to connect that i'm going to start using our forays into the depths as like a uh a report card a like really a report card i guess i, guess I got it in one uh for how well i found shrines how thorough i've been I, I think that's the best way to do it. That way I, do, I can kind of just keep moving. And whenever I see something, I can just go to it and leave other stuff as a blind spot. Uh, this shrine, I this is one of the other ones I did in the recording session, I, session uh, the failed one. I actually think it is the last one I did in the failed recording session because I remember I need to do this. That is not how I do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my wing shield? There it is. Uh, oh, uh, you know, something I would like to ask. Please work. Fine. Fine. If you're not going to work, I'm going to make you work. Uh, so... I, hopefully that works out. Okay, it does. Something I would like to ask. Is there something else I should be attaching to shields? I, I have gotten it down. I mean, if you look at my shields, I, I understand that I should be using them for utility. So, um, carts you know, are great. Wings are great for the high jump. Ice shields, we already have established. Uh, I have started implementing puff shrooms and muddle buds, and probably I will start with the uh, the dazzle fruits too as a means to stun or debuff enemies. Uh, and obviously the, the rubies and stuff and the springs, but like I'm getting to the point where I have a massive amount of shields and I just am running out of ideas to make my shields feel unique or interesting. Uh, I, I'm almost about to go back to the, because I saw one of the loading screen tips about ta talking about uh, dealing damage with shield bashes, and I'm almost about to go back to that, uh, which, you know, is probably going to anger some people, but when I have this many shields, it's like, what do I, what do I do, you know? Uh, one thing I thought of, and I tested in the, uh, I had had an inconclusive test in the other recording, was... Attaching batteries to shields and don't worry. I didn't uh Really I I didn't Use one of my own batteries. It was one I f had found in the depths and um, I, I was curious if attaching a battery to, to a shield technically allows me to have a battery attached to uh, My contraptions but one I can take with me in case it's not depleted. But I, I was it wasn't conclusive because I had had another battery attached to it, um, and I'm so I'm not truly sure what's correct there. But I I would like to I really want to know what. I don't think I need that, but I'll take it with me. I I do not know what is correct. Okay, so this one. Something that's a little bit nice here is that. I don't have any second guessing. Like, I, I know how to solve the shrine, and so I, I'm comfortable talking over it. Uh, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy! That's, okay, that's not how that went the last time. Huh, huh. What on earth? 
Okay. No, 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 no. Please work. Please work. Please work. That's not going to work. Okay. I got this first try in the failed recording session using the exact same design. What do they want me to do? Uh, it's going to be weird. This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. Come on. Come on. I, I angled the fans in. I don't even know why. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wait. Nope. 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 I am at a loss. I hate when I know how something's supposed to work, and so I have to try arbitrary things to get it to work. Because I know, I know from experience, this is a failed recording session. I know that this works. But it also doesn't work, clearly. Although I, I messed this one up. All right. Ten times the charm. Nothing's different this time. Except, I guess, a, mi a minute difference. What? It didn't work. That's insane. It's working. It's working. Just got to stay on the inside. It's unbelievable that this shrine I consider to be abs... This is one of the benefits, actually, of, of having a failed recording session. Uh... I consider this shrine to be easy, like just a piece of cake. I literally did everything on the first try with the same exact designs. And then here, it, it ended up being the most difficult shrine in the game. And I still don't know exactly how they wanted me to do it. Like this worked out pretty well, but man, that was, cr that was wild. That was a wild shrine, but Let's salvage it and keep on recording the episode because I don't want to end there. I'm having fun. Hey, stay on dying. That's brilliant. How did you manage to use basic physics to keep him upright? It's almost like uh, President Hudson had a code of morals. He was standing so upright. Oh, something I found in between episodes uh, I didn't feel like it it merited me showing you uh, was that if you're full on food he'll actually just give you double money he'll give you 20 rupees twice which I mean considering the scarcity of money in this game might be a good thing I'm not sure all right so this area uh, I need to go this way. In Breath of the Wild was kind of a gauntlet of enemies, so I'm not... Undoubtedly, it's something different here. This is also our very first fre foray. I almost said fray. Our very first foray into Nekluda. So, first and foremost, there's a Korok Seed, which I probably should probably get off screen. And as I said, I'm not terribly worried about missing shrines because we're just going to be going in down into the, into the depths and getting them. I'm curious how this area and some of the swampy areas coming up are going to be working in the depths. Like, how on earth? How on earth does this work in the depths? There are islands everywhere. Uh, that's probably going to end up being handled like it's a little, like, dead-end tunnel. Uh, the depths are about to get very strange. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, there's also one of the DLC treasures here, so I'm wondering if they matched it with Amisko's treasure. There is a goddess statue, which is very tempting. And maybe this is our reward for completing, because we have a lot. We have a lot of orbs. And as a reminder, in case you're new to the channel, uh, I have 21... Uh, what are they actually called? Hold on. Lights of Blessing. I need to start using their official name, because I like using official names. Uh... I have 21 Lights of Blessing. <laughs> the reason why I have 21 is because I am saving them to reward quests that I deem worthy of a reward. Sometimes, open world games don't give you the reward that you're due simply because... Back up. There we go. Simply because they can. I mean, it's an open world game. The story is what you make it. You losing all of your gear to uh, a Lynel and then and then having to fight a Gleok with just your bows is not something that the game designers can anticipate fully. Although it is very good. Um, the, they are very good at it. There are no Lizalfos here, unlike Breath of the Wild. They are incredibly good at doing that. 
Um, case in point, I, I'm not sure if I showed it earlier. So future pal, if I if I did not show it, please include it. There was a Quark seed that I was getting, uh, and I was talking, so I probably included it. Uh, there was a Quark seed that I was collecting that required me to shield surf down uh, this this hollow tree. And in the process, that's not what I want. In the process, or at the very end of it, they had set up the path of uh, a a Bokoblin boss troop to be directly, directly. Let's see if I can hit the. Oh, I can't. Uh, at my con the conclusion of that Korok seed. That's something that. I feel like doesn't get enough credit. Come on. There we go. It doesn't get enough credit. In Breath of the Wild, while the map design was fairly strong overall, you didn't get that level of quality where it felt like every single thing... I'm gonna have to kill this man. Where it felt like... It feels like every single thing in this game is intentionally placed. Not because there's nothing else around it, but to foster an experience. Case in point. I killed that Lazalfos. There's another one just around the corner. I kill that one. I round this corner. And guess what? There's another one perfectly in sight, but with a blind spot to us, which encourages us to stealth. I think that the design of this game is... While it might not seem like it, beneath the surface is exceptionally intentional. Now, I know there's some stuff that I haven't encountered yet, and you guys have warned me about. Some stuff that apparently wasn't just- it was straight up just not designed properly. And, you know, I, I'm actually very eager to see that, because I like critiquing things that are unfinished. I like seeing things that were unfinished. It just makes me excited, um, because I get to learn a little bit about game design because of it. But for now, I'm thoroughly enjoying the experience that this game seems to constantly foster. Oh, did that? It went off, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Please die. Okay, so that's one. We're also dealing, we're in uh, Les Alphos territory, which means we're going to start getting a crazy amount of arrows. I have 251. Don't be shocked to see me leave this area with, uh, with... 400 plus. Not this specific area, but this region. Okay, this guy's not a silver. I thought he was a silver, but that might have been the sunlight reflecting off of his thing. Does this work? Oh, it doesn't work! It does not work! They fixed that! They fixed the blind spot! Okay. I do want to get that, because again, this guy will carry... Yeah, he carries five arrows. For some reason, the Zalfos uh, in this region... Get, entering the Zora region, they all carry a absolute buttload of... Uh, I made it, well. Of, of uh, arrows. And it's great. It's great for those of us who are low on arrows. And frequently in Breath of the Wild, I would just load up. I would just go through um, the, the trek. What am I trying to say? The, the trek up to... Zora Domain, and I would just get arrows out the wazoo. Uh, okay, so we're in this area. I'm not seeing any shrines, which is incredibly surprising to me. I, would, I expected at least one. We are seeing similar enemies. Tulin, you scared me. Ah, it was a standoff. Got it. Okay, so uh, I actually kind of don't want to go into this area yet. But I'm not going to warp, so I'm going to go... I need to go towards my blue marker here. Because I ultimately would like to, um... I think it would be a good place to end at the, uh... At the Riverside... Or not Riverside Stable, I don't know why I said that. At the Stable. Oh, found a cave. Uh, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm playing Minecraft. Or at least watching it, because that was my primary experience, as established in the lore. Okay. What do they want me to do? 
They want me to connect. Oh, they just want me to connect to that. That. Okay, so what I need. I need stakes. I love, I love. I actually, stakes are quickly becoming my favorite item in the game. Not because they're like. Not because they're that good. But just because at the very beginning of the game, I wasn't sure how I would use them. And now I do. Now I understand. And the amount of situations where... Come on, there we go. I'm encountering stakes and being like... Really? Game? Really? Please don't give me the cutscene again. There. The amount of, uh, amount of situations where I'm looking at everything that's going on and being like, I need a stake. That's exactly the, the tool for the job. And it's awesome. It's cool. Uh, that's the mark of of a good crafting system where you don't... Also, there was no bubble or there was no um, loopy here. And yet there was a bubble frog. That might be an exception. Well, we're going to find out. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a rule yet. But that's not adding, it's not lending itself to it being a rule. Also, there are a lot of rockets in here, which I will definitely fuse before I leave. 